Hey everybody, so I planned on doing um, the money read from a subscriber request first, but as I was um, kind of meditating and listening to music as I was like self-care, I took a long ass shower. It was like almost an hour long. I washed my hair and everything. I was just in there, you know, washing away the stress and everything like that. And when I got out, all the music that kept playing was about soul ties, visions, and it was like masculine songs. Like, so there's a masculine energy out here, whether that be you, if you're feminine and you're masculinity right now, um, there's a masculine out here that is really just like sick without you. <laughs> um, this person wants to know if you still love them, still care about them. They want to know, do you want them? It's kind of crazy. Cause I was just trying to chill and listen to my, to my music. So let's go ahead and see. Um, this is going to be general reading. So please only understand that it's not going to make sense with everyone. Um, if it does make sense with you, please let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe and share so that way we can reach more people and we can grow the channel. Um, look, I need your attention. Yeah, I don't know if you guys watching this uh, have blocked somebody or they blocked you or you're just not paying attention to them. But yeah, this person is uh, wanting your attention. Why are you so cold? <laughs> I watch you on social media. So <clears throat> definitely this person is really feeling you. I'm getting like an obsession or something and it's not in the like I'm hiding in the bushes type of obsession but it's like really just watching you trying to figure out what what you're doing if they can um so this card let's work on our relationship so this is what your pers person person your person is wanting to tell you I don't know how long this video is gonna go what else does the collective person want to tell them? And I did purchase uh, another set of, I think it's Oracle cards that was on my wish list. So I will be incorporating that one. I've been looking at it too and I've been wanting it for the longest, but it should be here tomorrow. I love you. Then I just tell y'all. <laughs> Let's do one more. What else does the collective person? Okay, two came out don't get too comfortable okay so that's like a threat <laughs> don't get too comfortable my inner child is wounded i need to heal me and you can't heal me all right at the bottom we have i wish we could start over so this um overall message of i wish we could start over kind of just lets me know that this person wishes that things didn't turn out the way that they did um you know maybe even on their end they wanted to do things the right way maybe there's some things you did that they wish that never happened um but this person wishes that you guys could start over like as in from the straight beginning getting to know each other the right way um i do feel like this is something in cards obviously because this person wants to work on the relationship they love you um and this isn't like bold I love you. So this person definitely loves you. Um, I feel like this person is cold. This person's trying to hide or act like they don't care. They're trying to move on. They're trying to get attention from other people, but they want your attention. They want you to say something. Um, by them saying, don't get too comfortable, it's kind of like, I'm coming back. So don't think that this is over type of thing is what I'm getting from that. And then with this, um, my inner childhood is wounded my inner child is wounded i need to heal my heal me and you can't heal me so this person is starting to realize that they have some toxic behaviors that stem from their childhood some things that they learned in their childhood um that was not the healthiest and they want you to um understand that they're realizing that and this is going to be their journey of healing so some of you may already be healed you may be in the process of healing um, but this person is starting to realize that and they're wanting to heal but this person um, still has some a lot of work to do. So I don't know what happened in their childhood, but definitely it's something that they, they kind of set up their um, the template for their adulthood. So I don't know if this person didn't get a lot of love or they had to hide certain things. I'm getting like cool. They want to be cool or something. Um, this person wants to fit in, so definitely they care about what other people think. They don't live or do things on their own. They're so worried about what other people want. 
<clears throat> what else about this person? What do they want the collector to know? This person is collector to know. So we have main mail. We have sudden wealth. I don't usually um, read these in the reverse, but I'm gonna do that with this reading. So we have sudden wealth in the reverse. And then we have coffin. At the bottom, we have pathway. So like I just said, this person is going on a path of healing. This is like their, their way of going on a path of healing. Um, this is the main person in your life. So whoever's on your mind at this point in time, this is what they're saying to you. And I'm talking about romantic relationships. So not like friendship or anything, unless you know your friend likes you. Um, cause this is a love type of thing. So this person has other things going on right now. Um, they're trying to end a bad streak that they've had and it's all because of their healing. They need to heal. Their bad streak is what's causing their problems. And with this sudden wealth in the reverse, this is you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have money. Um, they may not have a job, they may not have money, or their money could be going to other things. But coffin is here. So coffin is about endings um, and new beginnings. Damn, I'm ashy. Hold on. Y'all didn't tell me I was ashy. <laughs> All right, I'm back, y'all. So... Like I said, this person um, may be going through a bad time right now. They might be broke, not have no money. And this is something that they want to end. Um, kind of like a cycle that they want to end. Um, because it's like constant bad luck for them. <clears throat> and it's because of their inner childhood wounds. Things that they need to heal. Um, with this main, man being, main male being here as well. This person only wants you to pay attention to them. They want to be the only male or person in your life. <clears throat> but yeah, this pathway, it's like they're being directed to the right path, but this person self-sabotages and they do things to prevent that because they're scared. It's out of fear. We have despair underneath. So like I said in the back, it says not hiring. Um, this person's at the lowest point in their life. It's kind of like I'm thinking like midlife crisis type. <coughs> And judication is here, so it's like they're under, it's like a under scrutiny or something. And after that's a child. Oh my gosh, okay. There could be something dealing with like a custody agreement. And this is why this person doesn't have money. Maybe they're giving their money to a child that's theirs. Or they may not know it's theirs. I don't know. Um, but there is some type of child involved. Or this could be their inner child that's trying to reach out. And, you know, the innocence in them that's wanting to change some things. It's going to be pretty quick. Yeah, we have action here. Sorry if my uh, witch call keeps moving. Um, we have storm warning in the reverse. So it's kind of like this person. That kind of reminds me of the tower card. So it's like this person's realizing that they're the center of all of their worries and problems. And they're needing to take some action to change that. <clears throat> yeah, it says door to spirit here. So this person's getting guidance. Um, they're being led in the right direction. We have attachment. This person has a lot of uh, negative attachments that they have to get rid of. Patience was in the reverse. So it's like this person um, is trying to rush things that are going to take time. That's pretty much what that is. Uh, we have blossoming abundance in the reverse. I'm going to go ahead and take that too. All right, what's going on? What else? Victory. One more. All right, so we have blossoming abundance in reverse. We have woman holding a coin in reverse. We have victory. Can you pick it up? <laughs> And we have indecision in reverse. At the bottom, we have angel balance. So this person is trying to balance out everything that's going on in, the, in their life. They're trying to balance out the good, the bad, um, and it's taking a toll on them. They're very stressed. So this could be another reason why they're not taking action towards you, even though they have all this love for you, because they have a lot of shit going on. Like this is somebody that you might not want to be in their, their space right now. Um, because on your journey to healing, there's times when you will 
fall from the path that you're supposed to go on and i feel like this person keeps getting dragged back but it's like in their in their mind they're really realizing that they're the reason why they're not abundant they're the reason why they're not getting the things that they want um uh, going to places that they want to go um having freedom is what i'm getting um because there's a woman here that this person's trying to detach from it's a woman that provides financially so this person's trying to detach from this woman and once they do, they'll have victory and they'll have the right direction because it's indecision is in the reverse. So this person was undecided um, in the past on what they should do. Should they go towards you? Should they go towards somebody else? Should they go towards themselves? So they're trying to do too many things. And um, once they get this taken care of, then they're going to be able to make the right decision that's best for them. Third shocker. Yeah, this person has low self-esteem. This is the solar plexus. So this person doesn't have like a, their self-esteem is kind of bruised right now. We have the sun here all tied up. So something is holding them back. Woman holding a heart, man holding a coin. So this person is focused on their money right now, for real. This person is focused on their money. Sorry if my table keeps moving. They didn't make this floor right in my apartment. Um. <laughs> I know that's right. TMI, I guess. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I get anything else from these cards. Yeah. This person may make the, may appear to be all okay on the outside, um, but they're struggling. And I feel like they'll come back to you once they get this type of stuff taken care of. Because there's some things that are getting, that are behind the scenes that you don't know about. And this person won't tell you because they don't want to uh, feel like less of a man. It's a pride and ego thing here. <clears throat> Alright, what else does this person want the collective to know? So we have the five of swords in reverse these just like popped out the eight of pentacles king of cups in reverse and judgment so this person can't offer you any type of emotional support or emotional connection at this time because they're trying to work on what's best for them and that's actually not a bad thing but they're trying to work on what's best for them and they do have some regrets about the things that they've done in the past to you and the way that they've hurt you but this is something that they have to do um, at this time. I feel like this person, um, they, wishes they, could, they wish they could have everything all at once. But they know that it's not going to work that way. What else does this person want to say? Yeah, they're releasing some burdens here with the Ten of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> they're releasing some burdens. And I don't feel like you're a burden to this person but it's kind of like a distraction um because like i said they're trying to heal themselves yeah ten of cups in reverse they can't they don't have their wish fulfillment yet because they're still trying to figure themselves out so they're not happy and if they're in a situation right now they're not happy where they're at so they don't feel like they've completed their life cycle yet of what the, the things that they need to do um page of cups here shows that they do still have some emotions for you pages are not you know it's the beginning stages and it's not like even if you're not new to them they still want something new they want to start new with you but they just can't give that to you five of wands seven of cups in reverse <clears throat> sorry i'm gonna try and move my desk it's bothering me i know y'all don't care uh <laughs> Yeah, this person um, is trying to make sure he, they make the right decision because they don't want any problems. They want to do whatever's going to be the least resistant way. So there's something they're going to choose, but they, they're trying to make sure there's no conflict around it. Yeah, eight of cups. So this person is going to come back to you. They're going to choose you, but they're not choosing you just yet because 
they're afraid something in their inner circle or someone or some somebody they're dealing with they don't want to have conflict with them so it's like they're trying to play it cool but this ace of cups is here they want to offer you their love dang these are just coming over yeah this page of swords in the reverse this person is tired of watching they want to take action they're tired of keeping things in they're holding in their emotions and just watching you I think I said that earlier. They watch you on social media. Look, Ace of Pentacles. So they want to offer you stability. They want to offer you love and stability. Wow, this is crazy. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person knows they've done things to betray you in the past. And they're trying to start new. They want to start new with no, like, no issues. They want to start over with honesty um, and trust. They want to build the trust again. Yeah, they're just not confident right now. And they're having to move on to something else. That's why I say that this is a soul connection. I feel like this is something you're going to have to let go. Yeah, they can't be with you right now. It's like everybody's disconnecting right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. What is some advice for the viewer? What do they need to know about this situation with this person? <laughs> failure came out you guys are not a failure so sometimes things happen for a reason what does what is some advice for the viewer yeah they want to offer you stability what is some advice to the viewer forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so I feel like some of you, obviously that's coming out. Some of you are resenting this person for walking away from you um, and not standing up for you or being strong enough to be in a committed relationship with you. I feel that if you guys forgive this person and move on with your life, I feel like this person is going to come back to you and they'll come back a little bit more mature and um, healed. At the bottom, we have fear. So I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. What I'm getting from this is I feel like some of you may fear that if you walk away from this person, that you're never going to come back. Like you won't choose them. You might find somebody else or that they'll never come back. But I kind of feel like I said, everything happens for a reason. If it's meant to be, it will be. <clears throat> Let's get you guys a outgoing affirmation. For your love and relationship <clears throat> so don't doubt and I, and I know it sucks hearing this because I hate hearing it all the damn time but it really is the truth like you know if you have a connection with somebody especially if you're in tune with your emotions and yourself you know if you have a connection with someone if you keep wondering why you can't stop thinking about this person why you can't get them out your head I feel like this is because they're doing the same thing you guys are meant to be this is a soul tie this is a soul connection it's like a higher a higher level what is the affirmation that they need to hear the viewers what affirmation does the viewers need what affirmation does the I seen this earlier we have grace um i face disagreements with grace and flow through the ups and downs of my relationships without getting thrown off center with grace i am able to keep my cool be my best self and not resort to name calling even when that crappy poo poo face is being a douchey barf monster so this just solidifies that you guys need to forgive this person i know that's hard um and be graceful about it no need to fight argue um, cause this person doesn't want to do that. This five of wands in reverse, this person doesn't want to do that. And you guys don't either. Um, it's kind of like bowing out gracefully, just walk away from it. Like if someone's not ready, you can't force them. But the thing is, is that it goes both ways. You can't force this person and then they can't ask you to wait for them when they're ready. So, um, that was just a little message that uh, came to me while I was listening to my music. So I hope that this made some type of sense to you guys or answer some questions that you may have had about your connection. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.